All right, so this week, working on a Jeep Patriot replacing struts all the way around. The uh, rear ones are original. They, all the bolts still have the factory paint on them. Had the factory paint on them. Marred them up quite a bit. <laughs> At least I believe they're originals. Looks like it anyway. Because they still got the fancy Dodge tags on them. Um, yeah. So we're going to do all four. Unfortunately, also have to do a catalytic converter on this. The front one, there are two. So I was hoping that by replacing the O2 sensor on it a couple months ago, it would fix it to no avail. So front catalytic converter needs to be replaced. Was going to do the rear one, but the place I ordered it from sent me the wrong one and they gave me a whole, whole bunch of trouble and I didn't have the enough time to order the rear one. Not yet anyway. It'll be done sooner or later, but the front one's what's giving us problems, so we're going to fix that one first. So you got the rear tires off already? Rear tires are off. It's in the air. I already started taking off the bolts for the top of the uh, struts. I got the top bolts off of this one. I got one more on the uh, passenger side to take off. Unfortunately, the uh, to get in there, you can't get the uh, electric ratchet. Ugh. Yeah. Ugh. The rats and wrenches are nice. So we'll get that done first and uh, go from there. As you can see, Stitches is there laying on his back. We took the bottom control arm off because he's got new uh, rear control arms. Here he did the fronts. When did you do the fronts, last year? Uh, six months ago. Six months ago? Yeah. So you've got an 18 here. You've got an 18 at the bottom of the shock, which we already took out. And you've got an 18 right here. You've also got to pull the sway bar, which the sway bar is what? You said it was 9 16 9 on this end, and then you just kind of uh, whatever it is on that end. Just slips through, yeah. So we're going to anti these bolts and put them back together. And uh, we didn't take these off only because we had, I had new ones to replace them. You have to remove at least the sway bar link and this bottom bolt here where it connects to the whole hub assembly to get that strut out. Yep, because we sat there with a pry bar. It just didn't come down low enough. It was like an inch too long for it to Yeah, it came off. probably to like where my yeah, finger is on the end. cap and the rest of it wouldn't come off. It wouldn't come through the perch here. So now yeah. we're gonna reassemble. And you can see these are OEM Dodge here. Yep. So I'm assuming these are original. If not original, they've been replaced once by the dealer. No, nah, these are probably factory. That would, that would be my guess. I mean, the car does have 190,000 miles on it. So, and they were knocking really bad either way. All right, cool. We're gonna dig into it a little more. Check back with you. All right, Captain. All righty, so we're all done in the back. She's down and on the ground. You can see the nice uh, new strut back there, control arm on both sides. So we're switching over to the front. So for these, you gotta take the bolts off here for the ABS sensor and the brake line. Then you've got two bolts in the top here that connect to the hub. And then you also have the bolt here for the sway bar. And we got three bolts at the top, not the center bolt, just the three bolts here. So it's gonna be the same on the passenger side, the three bolts and all that fun goodness. So we're gonna start tearing it apart, get the new ones on and go from there. Yeah. Fronts took what, maybe 25 minutes total? I don't even think. Yeah, the fronts were nice and simple. You know what's gonna be so, even easier than that? I'm gonna hurt you. This front cat's gonna I'm be gonna cake. Hurt you. 
I'm we're not gonna have any issues. We're not gonna have any problems. <laughs> <laughs> you dirtbag. All right, so what are we looking at for this cat? Um, well, we gotta disconnect. Take the top O2 sensor out. We'll take the two bolts. I don't know if we can see it down in there. Yep, you got the two bolts way down in there. So you see one, the other one's on the other side. So we'll have to pull them out and get that all disconnected before we worry about the working on the top here. Then back here, got all of our uh, fancy dancy bolts, which, you know, we're hoping will be a nice uh, operation here. I'm not gonna say it, so. It's gonna be super easy. We're not gonna have any issues, no problems. These are the ones that go into the head? Yes. <laughs> This is gonna be great. <laughs> You're a dirtbag. <laughs> so we got the cat almost out. We pulled the valve cover gasket because there's a bracket on the bottom of the cat right here. And we're fan dangling with this bracket to try and get it over the head. We thought pulling the valve cover would give us enough space. Um, try go cattywampus the way I had it before. That might be enough. Cattywampus? Yeah. Maybe how close? So freaking close. So close. It's that freaking bracket. It is that freaking bracket. Um, shit. And that ABS pump is right there, so we can't even. Yep, this is AC lines. Oh, can we get it? Oh, yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Oh, no. I'll let it break. Oh, it's the clamp. I just don't want to break those clips for the coils. <laughs> All right, we're going to keep with this and fucking hating ourselves. Told you it would be easy. <laughs> so, all right, so after fighting with this thing forever, we finally got the old one out. If you guys listen, the old cat goes, plunk, plunk. and the new cat goes, she don't do nothing. You can also see on the exhaust gasket where it was blowing out, this separated. So it was, it was definitely bad. If you guys want to know how we got the cat out, we pulled the valve cover gasket like we said before. We pulled the motor mount on this side, pulled we, the air box. And loosened the motor mount in the front. And we literally shimmied it. We've got Big Bertha over here, so we flexed the motor as far forward as we could. Pulled we, this up out of the way. And uh, the header end of the cat was over here. And we literally just shimmied it in here, up here, in here, up here. It was a bastard. Absolutely it, terrible. It was definitely a pain. But we got it out, so time to get the new one in. And get this piece of shit job done. <laughs> Let's be honest, this is a piece of shit job. Yeah. <laughs> it was easy. One, two, three. And guess what? The new one's gonna go in even easier than the old one came out. Never mind. <laughs> you. We're gonna get the new one in. Go knock on wood because he just drinks it. We're gonna get the new one in and uh, 10 seconds later, the new one fell in, in the place. So now we're gonna stick a new gasket on. Tighten that up, and then we'll uh, piece her back together. Yeah. Right, Archie? Noodles. I lost a part of my soul on this job. <laughs> That's with the car forever. <laughs> it is. Oh, that really does sound terrible, though. Yeah, it does. It wasn't the shock bushings. It was the cat the whole time. It probably was. <laughs> All, right. All right, so it's been a couple days, but to recap on this week's video, we went through on the Jeep. We changed front and rear shocks, rear control arms. We did the catalytic converter. The front catalytic converter. Yep, the front, the front catalytic converter. Bank one, sensor one, the one that's on that sensor. Yes. And is there anything else? And you went off camera and you looped up the control arm and readjusted it? Yeah, the front control arm bushing on for the lower. Uh, when I had put them in six months ago, they, I did it while the suspension was fully 
full out, I guess. I don't know. Decompressed. It was unloaded. There you go. And uh, it decided that it was going to start squeaking. So while it was on the ground, I loosened everything up, put some like silicone in there, tightened it back up, and the squeaking is gone. So one Car less problem. Car's been driven about 400 miles since we did the catalytic converter. All emissions codes are ready, and it's not throwing any check engine lights. So I'm going to call that one a win. Now we can get her... Uh, Get her inspected. Yeah, it's something in our state. <laughs> you guys like this kind of content? Yeah, absolutely. If you guys like this kind of content, like, share, subscribe, hit the notification bell to stay up to date, to see what we're working on. Might be a car, might be a truck, maybe it's a tractor or something. Who knows? Find yeah. us on Instagram at rusted underscore. It? No. Okay. I didn't order it. <laughs> Sorry. Papa distracting us. Find us on Instagram at rusted underscore nut underscore prepare and uh, see you next time. <laughs>